Hello friends, it's Angelina here from Walking Nature World and in today's video I will share with you my first impressions review of this new backpack Delta Futura 24SL and I haven't had a chance to hike with it a lot yet but I'm willing to share my thoughts about it. We just recently bought it after having a hard time when choosing and deciding which pack will suit me the most. And I knew I wanted a solid back frame, mesh spine, around 20 liter volume and more or less a conventional type of backpack. And my choice fell on this particular backpack because I was able to try it in a physical shop instead of just ordering it online. And I liked very much how it fitted on me. I barely felt it on my back. So I just couldn't resist buying it as it was the best fit I ever experienced. And in this video, I'm willing to share my thoughts about its features and all the details about it. And as always, we'll start by the technical characteristics given by the manufacturer. There are men and women versions of this line of backpacks under the same Futura name. And they have a bit of a different design and characteristics in terms of ergonomics. This particular Futura SL line hiking backpack is specifically designed for women. So it has the shorter back, narrower shoulder straps and conical shaped hip fins, creating a solid secure fit around the back and hips. The weight of this backpack is 1 kg 380 grams. It is 24 liter volume. The dimensions are 58 by 30 by 20 centimeters. Recommended load is 4 to 8 kg. The back length can be adjusted in the range of 38 to 48 cm. And it is suitable for the women with body height from 158 to 178 cm. So at the first glance, as you can see, this model looks very stylish. And you can see the professional approach used by engineers and designers who worked on the creation of the model. It also comes in a variety of different colors, which means that the backpack will suit your needs and preferences. And the fabric it's made of is 50% recycled material and is pleasant to the touch and the quality of the seams, stitching and locks is very nice. On the front side there is a large mesh pocket. The mesh is quite dense, but the fabric stretches well. This will allow you to put something large in it. For example, you can air out your wet clothes in it. On the sides there are two mesh pockets, made of the same material as the central compartment. A half liter bottle will easily fit into this pocket, it even seems to us that a one liter bottle can fit too. There are also two zip mesh pockets on the belt of the backpack. These pockets are roomy and you can put a standard smartphone in each or a compact action camera for example. On the front side there is also a standard elastic pole holder for the trekking poles. Along the perimeter on the front side we noticed rather unusual four loops and now we think that some additional equipment can be attached to these loops like a helmet, for example. Now let's talk about the spine structure of this backpack, one of the main features for sure. And with experience, we have come to the conclusion that it's very important to us what type of structure the spine of the backpack has. And so we realized that the bag should have a suspension design type, meaning that your back and the spine of the backpack, from top to bottom down to the tailbone, made a certain way so that your bag doesn't come in the close contact with the main body of the backpack. It is something similar to a stretch hammock in front of the very base. And behind this goes the rigid frame curved inside, so there is a large space between the spine and rigid frame. This will allow the air to pass through easily and prevent the back from sweating. It is made of durable threads and the frame itself consists of permanently elastic spring steel. And it doesn't seem to increase the weight of the backpack too much. All of this provides a great comfort when wearing, especially when the backpack is fully packed and heavy loaded. The straps of the backpack and the belt on the inside are made of the breathable soft material. You can adjust the height and width of the straps like on any other backpack. Two straps can also be connected together by adjustable in height sternum belt. The heel belt fastener also looks very high quality and solid. On the sides of the backpack there are two straps with a latch that can be used to reduce the volume of the backpack or to increase the space in the main compartment. I like a lot the upper department of this backpack, because it is very convenient and opens up quite wide to be able to fit many necessary things that need quick access.
inside this department there is a strap with a lock where for example you can fasten a bunch of keys and not to worry that they might fall out. On the inside of this pocket there is also a hidden compartment that closes by a zipper. You can put documents or money in such place. This department is attached by two straps with fasteners to the front of the backpack. Those straps are long enough for adjustments. Then goes the central compartment, the largest in the backpack. And right away we noticed the special closure system of this department we didn't have before. It is the same rope that pulls the upper part of the main compartment together, but here you have a special functional lock that allows you to easily close and open the main department. It slides very smoothly and effortlessly. All thanks to the spring-loaded rope lock. Inside the backpack on the side of the back structure, there is an additional pocket. It was thought to store the water container compatible with 3-liter bag. Also on one side at the top, there is a special slot for the water tube exit. For some, this may be an extremely important feature to be able to quickly access the water. Another very important and useful feature we noticed on this backpack is that central department can be opened not only from the upper part, but also along the entire perimeter of the front side of the backpack, by a front zip access. This is an excellent feature that provides you a quick access to almost anything in your backpack without having to take everything out. We really like it and appreciated this feature in other backpacks. But it seems like this is the largest front zip access we've seen and we're sure it will come in handy very often. There is also a compartment for a rain cover. At first we even thought that it wasn't included. But no, there is a such department and the rain cover itself too. This department is located at the very bottom of the backpack, close by the zipper. And there we find a branded light rain cover, made from some quality fabric again. And it is also additionally fixed by a strap, so you don't lose it accidentally. And here you have it, a quick and short review of this Delta Futura 24SL hiking backpack. And I honestly can say that I fell in love with this backpack from the moment I put it on, and to me the fit is everything. It definitely feels like it's been well thought and made throughout. And I do think that the special women fit comes at first place here and makes the biggest difference. So for now, I'm pretty happy with this new pack I have and I'm very excited to try it out this summer in action when doing day hikes and multi-day hikes too. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of this pack and what pack you bring with you this season? I'd love to hear from you. Give this video a like if it was helpful to you. It means the world to us. And of course, for more videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we'll be making lots of fun and useful episodes next. So have a great day, everybody, and until next one. Bye-bye.